Hi guys, I'm Jan. This is my studio, Kabi Recordings. Welcome. Um, I'm a big, big fan of big heights. I play 16 inch heights for the last, I don't know, eight years, 10 years, something like that. And I totally love them. I'm always interested in more and in bigger. So um, I wondered what 17 inch heights actually sound and feel like. And it's kind of difficult to, to, to just order crashes and, and play them and send them back. Nobody likes that. So, um, I called Paiste, I'm with Paiste for over 20 years now. I asked them, hey, is there a possibility that I can check out several combinations? I'm obviously a big fan of, uh, of Steve Jordan and his playing uh, and his sound. And he plays um, a certain combination of crashes. But I was also interested how other uh, crashes would sound like. And uh, Paiste was so sweet to um, send me over a couple of those. So um, I make this video for you guys um, to enjoy. And maybe you find the combination that you like best. Come with me on this journey. Enjoy. That was a really nice test, I thought. Um, I checked them, I listened to them. I also checked what they did on the snare mic as, a, as an engineer, um, or from an engineer's point of view, that's always interesting because if they are too trashy or too loud on the snare mic, it causes problems. Not that that is a criterion, but um, it's interesting to know. So I picked out three of all of those, which I really, really liked. The first one that I wanna pick um, is um, the classic Steve Jordan combination. And it is funny though, I, I, I asked about that because I didn't know um, and I wasn't sure about it, but um, this is the actual combination that he uses, that he prefers, and that is a traditional thin crash over a traditional thin crash. The second combination that I really liked was the traditional Thin Crash as a top and the Root Thin Crash as a bottom. Really nice. A little beefier, um, a little stronger maybe when you are one more chick from the high. Um, really, really balanced, really nice. But my personal favorite, um, and I don't know why, it's just had to do also with how the cymbals felt when I was playing them, is the Dark Crash Masters as a top. With a signature Dark Energy Crash Mark 1 as a bottom. 
and I would never have picked that without this test. Really, never. Um, all of those three combinations will work fantastically in, 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 in nearly every musical setting, I guess. Um, but this had, had just the, the nicest feel and um, yeah, it was not too trashy, but just trashy enough. I'm a big fan of the B20 bronze. I play a lot of master symbols, so maybe that, that's also part of it. So that's it, guys. Which one do you enjoy? Let me know in the comments.